Thanks Main Lobster now for sponsoring this video. And this is the star of today's show. It is what I like to call a jumbo lobster. Believe me when I tell you, you're not going to be able to find anything like this in your regular supermarket. This is a giant. And we all know the best way to have lobster is live. Fresh is always better. At least that's what we have been told. I don't know about you, but I love lobster. And since I like dry aging everything, today we're going to do that experiment. The goal is to dry age three of them. One for a week, another one for two, and one for three weeks. The first thing to do is to put her down. For that, the most respectful way is to put a knife right Right through here. This will put her down instantly. It is the right thing to do. Once that's done, I immediately took everything apart. And that I'll be showing it to you real shortly. We got the pigtail, the claws, and the little legs. The head is also great to make lobster bisque. And if you want to see that video, make sure you put it down in the comments down below and let me know. Now to dry age it, we're going to be using the tail only. If you think the rest is going to go to waste, uh-uh. Especially the size of these claws, take a look. And one of the easiest way to cook them is just to throw everything into the grill. Not only does it cook all the way through, but it gives a nice smoky flavor as well. Because because once it's done, it should look like this. Take a look. Completely change color on me. Now to eat it, I like it nice and simple. Just crack everything open, remove the meat, and dunk it in some butter. Oh yes. Now that is delicious. For the tail, since we're going to be dry aging, I first want to remove the meat. To do that, it's quite simple. I first started with some kitchen scissors. Cut out the edges, then I'm able to take it out just like this. Using a spoon to make sure no meat will go to waste, I started to dig in. It takes a little bit of patience, but if you go nice and slow, in the end, you should be left with something like this. A fully dish shelled lobster tail. That is exactly what we're going to be using to dry age. Is it going to be good? Or is this a terrible idea? Well, we're going to find out right now. Because the only thing left to do is to throw them in the dry aging bags, vacuum seal them, set them on a cooling rack so that the air can circulate all the way around, and into my refrigerator it goes to dry age for three weeks. As it was doing so, it was great because it allowed me time to go ahead and make a chimichurri sauce. And this one is super delicious and easy to make. As always, exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below for you. Into a bowl, I threw in some diced roasted bell peppers, followed by parsley, cilantro, shallots, garlic, dried oregano, a good amount of salt, a little bit of red wine vinegar, freshly ground black pepper, and of course, a good quality olive oil. Mix everything well and combine these ingredients together. Because if you want a little bit more tangy, throw in some lemon juice. Now mix everything together because because your red chimichurri sauce is done. Now that is how easy it is to make. And I'll tell you one thing, this should pair up perfect with the lobsters. Because I have no idea if it's gonna be good. But that is to be determined real shortly. As now I had to go ahead and prepare the second one. And as you can see, these things arrive lively. And it never fails to amaze me how large they actually are. And again, the process is the same exact thing. Make sure to put her down nice and quick. Then I go ahead and work my knife around the tail to remove it. Once that's done, I jump right into the legs. Followed by the claws, as the next thing to do was to remove remove the meat from the tail. You already know exactly how that works. In the end, you should be left with this. A nice beautiful tail completely disheveled. The dry aging process is exactly the same. I just throw them into my bag and let them dry age in my regular refrigerator. This is the one that has been dry aging for three weeks. And to my surprise, all of the meat stuck to the dry aging bag. The last thing I wanted was something to go to waste. And I'll tell you one thing, it was hard to get it out. The same exact thing happened to the second and the third one. This was some tedious work. But in the end, I was able to do it. As this is what I was left with. Now one of the biggest surprises I've had was the smell. Yes, it still smelled like lobster, but I thought this was going to be terrible. To my surprise, it was not strong whatsoever. As you can see, this is the one that was dry aged for three weeks. It feels like a lot of the moisture went bye-bye, so hopefully it's not going to be that dry. Here's the one that was dry aged for two weeks. It's almost identical, but at the same time, it feels a little bit firm. Finally, this is the one that was dry aged for only one week. Notice that the meat has a different color as well. It is super interesting to me and I cannot wait to find out how it's going to taste. Talking about that, I wanted to keep the seasoning extremely simple. I went with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. That's it. This way we're really going to be able to determine the taste. Keeping it nice and simple with experiments like this is the way to go. Now to have a true comparison, I went ahead and got a new fresh one. I want to know if dry aging is much more superior than fresh. The only differences between this one and the one that was dry aged was the way I prepared it. Instead of removing the meat from the tail, I just split it in half. As now that we have everything ready, the only thing left to do is to grill them. For that, I'll definitely be using some butter to baste. For additional flavor, I'm also going to be grilling some lemons. And I cannot wait to find out which one is going to be best. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook them. So let's do it.
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Maine Lobster Now. You can experience this amazing five-star lobster I'm about to devour for yourself. Cook your very own live lobster at home with Maine Lobster Now. They ship fresh live lobsters of all sizes overnight anywhere in the U.S. And they are guaranteed to arrive alive. You will not find lobsters this fresh in the grocery store. Maine Lobster Now's lobsters are wild caught sustainably and responsibly. Their standard size lobsters are all caught locally in the coastal waters just a few miles from the headquarters in Maine. And jumbo lobsters like this one are responsibly harvested from Atlantic waters a bit further north. Cooking this lobster at home, it's so easy. Maine Lobster Now makes this entire process a breeze. They even provide step-by-step -step instructions with every order, which helps you walk through cracking and opening shells with ease. And Maine Lobster Now doesn't only ship fresh lobster. They offer an incredible selection of other high-quality seafood too, including giant Alaskan king crab legs, thick cuts of fish, fresh-caught oysters, and a lot more. Dive into a new culinary adventure with your order of fresh live lobsters and more of their fresh seafood offerings. Orders of $100 or more more ship for free. Check them out on the description down below. Thank you, Main Lobster Now, for sponsoring this video. But now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have a beautiful lobster feast today. I was gonna say, you used the perfect word right there, feast, because this looks like a lot. Amazing. How many lobsters do we have here? So we got actually four lobsters over here, all right? But these wow. are just the tails. This one is nice and fresh. And then we got a little chimichurri sauce here as well that we can try it in the end. I really wanna know if they taste different, if they taste better, if they taste worse from this one, because this is the base, all right? All right, enough talking. All right. They should come out like, oh Ooh. my God, that's a big piece of me. <laughs> oh man. Okay, grilled lobster, nice and fresh. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Cheers, guys. Mmm. That's good. Sweet, a little yep. char on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Wow. You describe it, Leo, you like to describe. Yeah, I do like to describe things. <laughs> I was gonna say, you said it perfectly so far. It's sweet, it's tender, it's juicy. I don't remember if I've ever had lobster grilled, but this is so good, this is better. This yeah, a little, a little smokiness. I definitely agree with that. The, the smokiness of the charcoal definitely tastes really good to me. And you can taste that butter that like grilled into it. It's so good. Like I always say, everybody, butter makes everything better. <laughs> okay. Butter is amazing. That's right. So that is the base. Now we're gonna see if this goes uphill or downhill, all right? I really because hope it is it. an experiment. <laughs> yeah, I really okay. hope it goes uphill. All right, let's go. All right, we're gonna go this way. Just just, just go for it. How does it smell, Leo? It smells good. It smells it good? Smells good, yeah. Let's see. Smells freaking amazing, Leo. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of scared. I don't know what this experiment is. No, but... it's not bad, by the way. It should be good. Huh? Leo's well, starting to learn. I don't Leo, know, you know. Leo's getting more uh, Before... adjusted to being on video. He yeah. knows that he should be worried. <laughs> We're gonna find out right now. Are you yeah. ready? Yeah. Very first one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Not as sweet. Wow. A little drier. Leo, you don't look like you like it too much. It tastes a little like funky to me. I, I don't know. I, I don't we know. We gotta say the truth. Tastes a little funky. So I prefer this one. I actually do as well. I, I'm with you. I like this one a little better, but there's not that much sweetness. Yeah. So I think maybe that's where you're coming in from. I also think that the one we just tried right now, it has a longer lasting flavor. I would say it slightly improved the flavor a little bit, but it's drier. Yeah. You agree? It's, it's yeah. drier and it has more of a char on it. Okay. Yeah. Enough, let's go for the second one. Just let's dig in, guys. All right. Oh, the butter is dripping, everybody. Can I just say, just <laughs> yeah. sinking the fork into it, uh -huh. it felt a lot harder. It felt a lot harder. Yes, I agree. Oh, you're absolutely right, Angel. Right? Yeah. You're yeah, absolutely yeah. right. Okay, the, the important thing is how does it taste? You ready? Yep. yep. Very second one. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Guys. Oh, wow, a lot drier. That tastes completely different to me. This has the consistency of chicken. True, but doesn't taste like chicken. No, no, no. Mm -mm. I got a lot of char on mine, so... Definitely, me too. Yeah, so I think maybe that's affecting it a little bit. That's why it tastes so different, but I still get that lobster taste. Yeah. I still get a little hint of sweetness. I don't know, it's like you said, it, it, it's like lingering more. Definitely, the moisture just goes bye-bye. Yeah, the and moisture yeah. is very low on yeah. this one. Uh -huh. But the flavors might be the highest on this one. Yeah, it's more concentrated flavor. I agree 100%. Right? Yeah. And if you think that it tastes like different than a lobster, it tastes like a lobster. No, it still yeah, has yeah. lobster flavors. Yeah. It still has like a little bit of the sweetness. Yeah. But now it has more of a char flavor, in my opinion. It's a little bit more dry. So when you chew it, it feels more like you're biting a chicken. Yeah, you're yeah. losing out that tenderness and that juiciness that you get with a regular lobster. G agree 100%. I also think the flavor is long lasting on this Yeah, thing. I still have it in my mouth. Just like same. the lobster. Same. same. Huh? Yeah. Right, still in there, but it didn't yeah. go away. <laughs> okay, let's go for this one here. Let's go. I'm curious. Wait, 
Yeah, it smells Is different. it me or does it smell like coconut? I, I think it's just you, my boy. It's just me. I don't get coconut. Is this it? Yeah, I can I can actually kind of smell it on your. That is it weird. It smells like coconut, everybody. No, it might no, smell no, like it a, does Yes, not, it does. No, maybe no. maybe it's the butter. Maybe it's the butter that burns. I don't know. Something like that. You ready for the last one? Oh, Very last one. Cheers, cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Wow. That's crazy. It's still dry, but the flavor, it's so different. I don't even get any initial sweetness I like at all. it. I get a lingering taste, yeah. and I get that sweetness coming in, kind of like an aftertaste. It's just so much drier than this one, the fresh one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the only thing that is really kicking me back, because as you take a bite, it's just like, you know, dry. And uh, this one is extremely juicy. Yeah. But the flavor is intense, and it's a very nice flavor flavorful lobster. I was gonna say that if you compare the last one that we just had to the first one, it's completely different because on the first one, it like we were saying, it's juicy. And the second one, be, uh, the last one that we tried, because it doesn't have that juice, it, it's just a more meaty bite. Yeah. You don't get juice, you don't meaty get Meaty bite, yes. It's very meaty. Yes, meaty bite. So I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, because none of them taste bad. They all taste good, yeah, all, all right? Good. That's a fact. Okay. I dry aged everything. So this one is fresh. Oh gotcha. my God, right? that makes so much sense. Okay, so, so this one is dry aged for a week, two weeks, three weeks. That's what it is. Oh okay. my God, that makes total sense so, now. So now that you know what it is, explain to me. Okay, so the fresh one obviously is very juicy. It's very soft, fresh. The one week is the softest of these three. Yeah, So Agreed. this one had, I think, a very pleasant taste. The second week one got way tougher. Yeah, yep. but more the, flavor though. More flavor, but way tougher. And the three weeks one is actually softer than the two weeks one. Thing. I I felt that. And as I had well. to go really? back and forth because it didn't make sense what's going on. That kind of threw me off, you know. Like this one's a little bit tougher than the rest. Here's the question, the big question: If you go to a restaurant, you order lobster. Which one would you expect to have? I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm going with the fresh one. Yeah, I think. I fresh. agree a million percent. Yeah. All right, you should eat fresh lobster yep. like this is better the fresh one i think the dry age ones would be a good application if you do kind of like a dip or something then you mix it yes. with a lot of mayo and sauce then it's really really flavorful because the dry age ones has a lot of flavor a lot more yeah. than the the one that, that is fresh but at the same time there's a lot of waste because the plastic gets stuck on the thing and you waste it even oh, though when you remove not good everybody oh, you're gonna okay. waste a lot so I don't recommend you dry aging lobster whatsoever, but I will recommend you getting it nice and fresh because it's better. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Main Lobster Now, thank you for sponsoring this video. Guys, check them out in the description down below, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.